Everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and today I'm going to go ahead and take a look at one of the first anti-malware programs I've ever heard of and that was Spybot, Search and Destroy. Um, I think I was reading a magazine like six years ago and they were talking about what spyware was and what malware was and um, I don't even think the word malware was out yet actually they were just talking about uh, adware that's what it was yeah and they mentioned spybot and I went home and downloaded spybot later that day and just kinda tried it out and that was version I don't even know if it was up to one yet um, but I stopped using spybot on version 1.4 I think just cause things were getting a little too complicated and it kinda wasn't kind of wasn't up to par. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at version 1.6. It's a 14 meg download. Um, it is not the latest version. They have a beta out, but unfortunately the beta doesn't run on this box. It just kind of hangs. So we'll give them a chance to work that out. Um, I was also given some suggestions to uh, use a program called Auto Runs. It uh, basically shows you exactly what's running on your computer, everything, uh, everything process-wise and I think DLL-wise, uh, registry-wise as well. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a before um, a before snapshot and an after snapshot, and that way we'll be able to see um, what Spybot has gotten rid of exactly. So no more guessing really. So this is the first time I've ever done an auto runs comparison. So we'll just give it a shot and see how it works. Anyway, um, for people who are new, this PC has over a thousand pieces of malware on it. I just updated some of it uh, yesterday. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and do is see if we can uh, clean off this stuff with SpyBot. How much we can clean off. There's very little out there that will actually clean off everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install SpyBot now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just deselect additional languages. I don't need additional skins. I'm going to turn on my network card because we're going to download updates right away. Uh, we're going to install something called T-Timer, and I have no idea why they call it T-Timer. Uh, but it's just a real-time uh, protection. Back when I was using it, it was like real-time registry protection. I think they might have real-time process protection now, which is awesome for a free application. So SpyBot downloads its update very, very, very quickly here. It's just a... Uh, 3 meg download for the updated um, includes, that's what they call them. Also, I want to say this, if you have any questions for me, go to the blog and ask it there, just so we can kind of get everyone in on the conversation. And um, I have a lot of uh, frequently asked questions up there. You can search through them already. Your answer might, might already be there. So, uh, SpyBot wants to restart. I'll go ahead and do things by the book here. I'll go ahead and restart and I'll pause the video. Be right back. Alright, uh, the PC is rebooted and the SpyBot search and destroy uh, real-time um, real-time protection is starting to find uh, these, these uh, pieces of malware that are running. And I'm, auto, I'm just going to go ahead and select automatically kill this process. And it is able to kill some of these processes. That's pretty neat. Um, I'm used to the, like I said, the old version where it was just registry changes and that was pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and load uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy. Uh, it says we have located 397 temporary files. Scan speed will increase if you allow us to clean this folder be my guest. Loads up pretty fast. Uh, 
Um, real time's popping up a little bit more here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, create a registry backup. It's the right thing to do before you remove anything. I know I'm backing up, you know, malicious registry entries, but still, if you can't boot, you know, you might be able to uh, use this registry backup to help you. I think I've used it once or twice. I'm going to go ahead and search for some updates. Uh, I need to turn my network card back on. Hang on. And they have many, many update servers you can choose from. And uh, basically shows me what it's going to download. Advanced Detection Library, Detection Library Support, uh, Internet Explorer plugin update, uh, update to the immunization database, and tea timer update. So there we go, downloads very quickly. Okay, still killing stuff, it's nice. Spybot's uh, killing stuff in real time. Uh, let me go ahead and check my video time. Hang on. Right. Still got three more minutes on this guy. Alright, we'll exit out of there. And Spybot should load the main interface now. Open it again here, it didn't load. Alright, so there's the interface. It's up nice and good. I'm going to go ahead and start video too, and we'll kind of go over the interface real quick, even though I'm sure almost everyone knows it. But what the hell.